All right, introducing Bitcoin 2X. Bankers and corporations trying to get their dirty paws involved with Bitcoin. So in today's episode, I'm featuring this mysterious lemongrass luau from Kona Brewing Company. Um, very interesting flavor. It has like ginger and lemongrass in it. Um, it's a pale ale brewed with natural ginger and lemongrass added. This argument, takeover, conspiracy, crisis, or whatever you want to call it, has its roots in a two-year-old debate over how to scale the network. This stems from philosophical differences. At the highest level, there are two camps that see Bitcoin becoming two different things, digital gold or electronic cash. Neither is right or wrong. They're just different perspectives on what the network can become. The developer's approach is one of digital gold, not necessarily putting every coffee payment onto the Bitcoin network itself, but having them processed by other faster networks that would later connect to the Bitcoin to provide finality to the transaction. Bitcoin 2x's vision, supported by a number of miners at this point, is of a Bitcoin as eCash, a network that has its roots for every morning coffee to be caught processed on Bitcoin's network, which would, incidentally, give them more transaction fees. In my honest opinion, Bitcoin was meant to be a value layer, a wealth storage layer. In Satoshi's vision, Bitcoin was never meant to be a full-blown currency or transaction layer. This was meant to be solved by sidechains, which are on their way. Now you guys, Bitcoin is getting taken over. The largest crypto media outlet, Coindesk, is owned by a digital currency group. Who the fuck are these guys? Well, let's find out. Digital Currency Group says their mission is to accelerate the development of a better finance system. We build and support Bitcoin and blockchain companies by leveraging our insights, network, and access to capital. Motherfuckers, guess who Digital Currency Group is owned by? CEO is Barry Silbert. If you haven't been around Bitcoin for a while, you know who this guy is. For those of you who don't, he was a former investment banker at Houlihan Loki, and prior to founding Digital Currency Group, he founded Second Market, which sold to NASDAQ in 2015. This guy is big into Bitcoin, and his paws have been in the pockets of what Bitcoin was built to destroy. Doesn't make a bit of fucking sense. Look at the advisors and connections of Digital Currency Group. The biggest investment company in DCG is MasterCard. One advisor is Glenn Hutchins, who is a former advisor to the Clintons. He is also on the board of the Federal Reserve Bank. Another advisor, Lawrence H. Summer, former chief economist of the World Bank, Secretary of Treasury. He played a leading role in the economic crises in Mexico and the Russian financial crisis. Furthermore, he was also responsible for the privatization of the economies post Soviet states and the deregulation of the U.S. financial system. He has stated, I frequently counseled the Obama administration. Larry Summers has said in an article posted by Coindesk, which is owned by Digital Currency Group, of whom he advises, blockchain can and will succeed without Bitcoin. I'll post the article. It's disgusting how anti-Bitcoin core it is, and pro-Larry Summer and alternative Bitcoin 2x it is. So guess who the Segwit 2x agreement was organized and pushed by? You guessed it, the bastards at Digital Currency Group. This whole thing is being orchestrated and developed by a company who goes by the name of BitGo, with help from other developers, including Block co-founder Jeff Garzik, and guess who is their biggest investor? You guessed it, Digital Currency Group. So BitGo offers a service that facilitates transaction and supposedly prevents double spending. BitGo can guarantee that transactions cannot be double spent. When BitGo co-signs a BitGo instant transaction, BitGo takes on a financial obligation and issues cryptographically signed guarantee on the transaction. The receipt of the BitGo instant transaction can Rest assured that in any event where the transaction is not ultimately confirmed in the blockchain and loses money, as a result, they will file a claim and will be com compensated in full by BitGo. 
So what Bitco is basically describing is a form of notary that verifies a transaction before the blockchain does. Pretty useless. One of the great things of the blockchain is that you don't need a notary to verify transactions. The question that sits in my mind, are the central bankers trying to take control over Bitcoin? Will their action plan include restricting block sizes to benefit their business model, just like Blockstream? Crypto friends, the noose has been looped and tied. Let's play our cards right and not stick our own freaking necks in there. These are dangerous waters. Segwit2x is an attempt to take power away from core and give it to the well-known big players like MasterCard and central bankers. So everybody out there, you know what to do. Play your cards right with the Bitcoin hard fork. Put your money where your mouth is and let's destroy this thing. Have a good evening.